So, Sarah, which one's your favourite? This little one, because it's the cutest and most smallest I can cuddle in more. It's lovely, isn't it? They're all lovely. This one, excuse me, will you stop biting my tassels? <laughs> I'm spoilt for choice. I don't know which one I like best. They're all lovely. Well, one of these puppies is Jan's next challenge, and looking at them, you can't imagine that there'd be any problem at all. They're absolutely beautiful. But in a couple of weeks' time, this young lady here will be going to her new owners, and Jan's going to go with them. And she's going to put them on the right road, right from the very beginning. Because although they're all cuddly, sweet, and very lovable at the moment, when they grow up, they get an awful lot larger. Up you get, Jack. Let's go see on. you. Oh, no. my goodness. Now, how <laughs> big is Jack? <laughs> at the moment, he's about 11 stone. 11 stone. He's bigger than me. Good luck, bigger than me. And how big will he grow? Um, he's, he could put another inch two inch on height and probably another four stone in, in weight. Four stone in weight. Three or four stone. <laughs> he but, likes uh, the camera. <laughs> not camera shy anyway. <laughs> his, his dad's 22 stone. 22 stone. Mm. Do they make good family pets though? Because they are very big. Brilliant. Brilliant. Really good. Really good. I've got a two-year-old son and he just he just wrestles and plays with him and mm -hmm. rolls all over the floor in the house. He comes in the house. He opens the door himself. Good to see. Yeah. Quite an intelligent dog, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Is it? All right, yeah. Well, Jan, the challenge is all yours because would you want something as big as this? Turning nasty. So today's a big day. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. And you're going to be taking them home. Yeah. They're how old now? Ten, Ten weeks. Ten weeks. And you saw them a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. they, were, they were a lot yeah. smaller, mm -hmm. but they're also not ready to go then. No. Because no puppy should leave any litter, any mum, until they're eight weeks minimum. Mm -hmm. That's early because they learn a lot from each other as they're trying to put you in the place now, what they're doing is making you a part of their litter. Yeah? By chewing you and, put, and climbing all over you, using you as a cushion. Ah, oh, they got it stuff. And this is mum. Something that you must always, always do. When you go to buy a puppy, you must see the mother. I can't stress that enough. Because here I can tell the temperament is lovely. If you don't see the mother, how do you know? You can't be sure. This is a beautiful girl. Lovely, lovely temperament, nice example of her breed, and the puppy should grow to be like her. <laughs> this it, puppy is settling down so quickly. Yeah. She's in, investigating where she lives, her environment, and that'll take about two days. Once she's had that 48 hours, then she's going to start finding her place in your pack. And that's the crunch time, because if you do it wrong, she'll get it wrong. If you do it right, she will get it right. The first night, I don't know who wants to do it, but it's nice if you can stay with them. The first night, remember, 48 hours is vital. And I actually encourage people to spend the first night, well, I, I, I lay on the sofa with the puppy with me. And then it feels warm, because the night time is a long time, especially now we've got it dark as well, it's a long, dark time. And I can honestly say, if you stay with them the first night, then the second night they settle down a lot quicker. And that's, you know, we do find a great improvement with that. Okay? If you want a puppy to play, this is how you do it. Just start to pat, this is what they do to each other. Look. And now if she bites, oh, she smells my hand, that's okay. You can give her a nice gentle stroke. Now if she starts to bite, then here she comes. Ow! You see how it freezes her? Ooh. What did I do wrong? And that's all you do, and then you leave her. Then you can play with her again, but every time she bites, as, and I don't mean let her bite you, as soon as she puts her mouth around your hand, ow, this is going to be a big dog, uh -huh. and those teeth can hurt. So when she bites, ow, I mean it, and walk away. Now she's gone to furniture, inappropriate, you need no. something, no, no good saying no, she doesn't understand that. You see, humans, we, we understand the words, we introduce something that will be fun for her. Puppy, <coughs> puppy, come on in. Let her, see, let her see the toy. That's it. Now, you see, rather than her play with that, I introduce something she can play with. So as soon as she goes to something you don't want her to go to, redirect the play with something she can have. And that's to have to teach a puppy at this stage. Slow, Joe. Come on, love. Come on. And sit. Very good girl. You see, she, give her a reason. There's mm -hmm. a reason. Humans are very arrogant. They think a dog should do something just because we say so. That's dictatorship, that's authoritative, you know.
This is about the cooperation. What we want here is this puppy to work for us of its own free will and happy to do so. There should be no pain, no fear, and no violence. So, yeah, of course it's nice. She's learned something. She's learned something straight away. She says, I bet she does it of her own free will. I bet she may even, young as she, yes, you see, look. Now what she's done is said, if I see it, will you give me some? This is how quick they are to learn. This is a baby, but she's got that already. If I SIT, will I get some food? And the answer is no, because you didn't ask for it. You see the difference? It's what you ask. A good tip when they first come home is to perhaps give them something to eat, yeah. something nice and tasty. It's also a good idea to give them what they've been on because it's, you know, sort of transition, it helps. They sometimes get a runny tummy um, in the first <coughs> couple of days, which would be helped a bit if the, if the uh, food was the same, but the environment change can cause that. Even water change can cause it. She hasn't uh -oh, poo now. Uh -oh. right. um, that's unfortunate. She was looking for somewhere to poo. All I'm going to say at this stage, we should have been quick enough to have her outside doing that. Oh, gosh, it's a good healthy one. <laughs> yeah, but when that goes running, oh, she's in trouble. Oh, like, she's Get the newspaper. <laughs> we, we clear that up quickly. Oh, oh. Right, well. just, just hold it there. Yeah. First thing is, you must never, never get cross at them for in, inappropriate soiling, because she doesn't know where to go. One of the classic mistakes is to rub their nose in it or shout at them. What we have to do is make it a positive thing, not a negative. This is, this is with toilet training, this is patience. You just wait, and when she does it, good clean girl. I stood out in the pouring rain and the snow. It doesn't matter where you stand, you have got to wait for them to do it. it this is reward stimulus. It's the other way around to asking her, where are her to sit? The reward was there and I gave her yeah. when she did the action. Here, we're going to reward when she's done oh, the look. action. Good clean girl, good clean girl. Good girl, clean girl, Very positive. Good. It's hard work for the first few days to get it right. Mm -hmm. But the work and effort now, put in now, oh, it pays off.